blessings, everybody. Welcome back to our study in Matthew. We are in Matthew chapter 13 today. Uh, make sure you read these passages right here because we're covering one of the parables, okay? The 13th chapter has several parables in it. And so in this one right here, we see is the parable of the tares and the wheat. And this is such a word, not only for them at that time, but for us and for the things yet to come. And repeatedly in this chapter, Jesus says the kingdom of heaven may be compared to. So he's making comparison. And remember, with parables, you don't try to uh, micro-understand every element of it. Jesus is just trying to teach something here. And he says that a man sowed good seed in his field. This is a parable. And while his men slept, an enemy came in and sowed tares. Tares are bad seed, bad fruit. And then they went away. The enemy went away. Well, over a period of time, when the wheat sprouted and bore grain, then the tares became evident. The tares weren't evident before. While the tares were growing up and the wheat was growing up, they looked the same. And everyone would have assumed that it would be good fruit, that it would be wheat. But when the grain came forth, it became evident that there was good grain and there was bad grain. So the slaves of the master said, hey, do you want us to go out and remove all the tares from there? And the master said, no, don't do that. It might cause harm, might cause harm to the real wheat. Allow them both to grow together until the harvest time. And then at the harvest time, what we'll do is we'll gather them together. We'll put the good over here. We'll put the bad over here and we'll burn the tares. Well, after a while, and you skip a few verses right here, the disciples come back to Jesus and they said, hey, will you explain that to us? And this uh, parable right here is very useful because it shows us how to interpret parables, how to look at them. The Lord, you know, a lot of times people will say, well, you don't have to look at every element of a parable. Well, it, it does pay to look at them and pay attention. And this particular one right here, the Lord is saying, hey, here's what the details are with each one of these things. You find out that there's a great deal of detail with it, okay? The sower is the son of man, the field is the world, the good seed is the sons of the king, the tares, the sons of the evil one, the enemy is the devil himself, the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Now, this is so important because this is telling us some things about end time events. Everybody always wants to know about end times, when the Lord comes back again, what's going to occur, what's going to happen. And it's very important. The scripture tells us uh, an immense amount of information, an immense amount. But sad to say, for the most part, the body of Christ doesn't pay any attention to it and doesn't look, they don't learn, they don't listen to what the Lord is saying. And even within this parable, it shows us some amazing things. He says, at the end of the age, these tares will be gathered up. In other words, the Son of Man will send forth his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all the stumbling blocks, those who commit lawlessness. You know, we we think, well, what is the kingdom? Simply put, the kingdom is the king's domain. And within the king's domain, there's going to be some terrors right here. He will bind them up. He'll throw them in the lake of fire. And there's going to be weeping and gnashing. The wild thing about this is you learn some things. You find out that the angels come and do this. Okay? And you see that over in Revelation and stuff. So we see that the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. And then he says this, he who has ears, let him hear. I think this is really very much a picture of the church today, what we call the church. Uh, because of what we saw with a, a previous parable of the sower, I really believe that so many that profess to be believers within a body of Christ are not believers, but are tares. They look like true believers. They even act like true believers, but when the real harvest comes forth, when the real grain comes forth, you find out that they are not. And so that's some things we need to take into consideration. Do you hear what the Lord is saying? Do you understand the future? Take it before the Lord and make certain that you are of the true wheat and that you're not a tear. I'm Dale from the Precept Classes in Cullman, Alabama, and I'll see you again next time.